Hey, what's up guys? This is Cole with CJC Off-Road and today we are excited to bring you part one of a video series. Uh, this is actually in collaboration with Roaming Lost and uh, basically uh, we're getting a lot more inquiries uh, from potential customers regarding building custom camper builds. Uh, Roaming Lost reached out to us and we thought this was an ideal opportunity to basically showcase to you guys what we can do with these trucks. This truck started out as a uh, pretty no frills tradesman truck. This truck was specifically selected for this build to basically be exactly what it needed to be. And that is a Ram 3500. Um, we've talked about this a lot of times before, but we'll, we'll kind of touch back on it here. If you're building a heavy camper setup, the 3500 is unbeatable as a base platform for these builds. The Ram 2500s, although they're really nice for a strictly daily driver, a uh, truck that's unloaded, um, I actually have a 2500 myself I'm, I, and I use it exactly for that, right? Just a really smooth da daily driver. The 3500s really do the job in terms of carrying weight. And this is going to be the perfect base for a camper setup. We brought the truck into our shop, tore it apart, and basically threw the works at this thing. So uh, build-wise, this truck received a Carly Pintop Ram 3500 three and a quarter system, received Carly's torsion sway bar, Carly's high mount steering stabilizer, Carly's low mount steering stabilizer, Carly's fabricated radius arms, Carly's diff guard, basically everything that they offer in the catalog to enhance how this truck drives both on and off-road. This whole build is based around Carly's three and a quarter Ram 3500 Pintop system. Now with how heavy these kinds of overland builds are and how top heavy they are, uh, you cannot skimp on shock damping. And so basically what we, what we recommend is the minimum shock diameter for a build like this is these pin top two and a half shocks. Uh, what this damping allows for is substantially improved control when hauling that camper setup. So say you see your typical motorhome around town, right? Put the big heavy uh, you know camping setup on there. The thing sways like crazy, gets really boaty, things like that. These Carly uh, tuned pin top shocks on these systems really do a uh, serve an important role basically in terms of controlling the weight of these steps and making these things pleasant to drive, right? So uh, with an overland build, you're putting tons of miles on these trucks, both on and off road. And starting with a big enough shock is basically the key, the key ingredient to properly controlling how the truck handles um, and ma basically making for a proper driving experience. Roaming Lost opted to run the Carly fabricated radius arms with this build. Uh, what these arms allow for is the frame side bushing that they that they utilize uh, basically allows for a full rotation uh, unlike the stock factory vulcanized radius arm bushings uh, what this results in is a more pliable suspension setup so when you're flexing the thing out off-road uh, the arms just allow the whole suspension to basically work more naturally uh, beyond that these arms are substantially beefier than the factory arms um, and, on, and on top of that they include limit straps when you run these setups really hard off-road and um, you know basically with the heavier duty king shock you're putting a lot of stress on both ends of the shock and so what the limit straps do that come with these arms is basically allow the um, the limit strap itself to take the load of the suspension when it when it goes to full droop and what you're doing is actually helping to uh, increase the longevity of these king shocks before they need a rebuild so it's a great upgrade there um, he also opted for carly's torsion sway bar carly's torsion sway bar offers a lighter more progressive spring rate than the factory sway bar so factory sway bar, when it goes to engage, it's very stiff spring rate, almost a, a immediate, you know, harsh feedback. The Carly sway bar by nature, as it goes to uh, cycle, it rotates a lot more freely, um, but still does the job of controlling the truck uh, stability wise, because as it, uh, as it increases, it basically ramps up. And the result is a, you know, not only a controlled ride, but initially more pliable ride. So when you're taking the truck off road over small imperfections, things like that, it feels more comfortable. You're not slamming your head to the side window, not, you know, not bounce around the truck as easily. So a great upgrade for uh, a purpose-built off-road build like this. 
He also opted for Carly's high and low mount steering stabilizers. These help drastically to reduce basically what you feel in the steering wheel from the tires. Uh, this truck ha you know, utilizes very heavy tires, very large tires with this build. And if you didn't have these stabilizers, the wheel be bouncing all over the place when you're off-road. So this basically combined in the high mount, low mount stabilizer, uh, we're able to basically make the driving experience more pleasant when you're taking this thing, especially um, on long off-road trips. Uh, he also ran Carly's front differential guard. For $210, this is one of the best beefed up components for these builds. Um, basically, you're protecting your front differential cover when you're taking the thing off, taking the truck off-road. So say you hit a boulder or a rock with a front differential, instead of you know basically ending the trip right there uh, by having all your front diff fluid leak out, the Carly diff guard basically takes the brunt of the hit and keeps you going on your way. So super cool upgrade, super nice bang for the buck. Um, last but not least, uh, this truck is actually receiving custom Deaver Springs. Those are going to be in part two of our build feature on this on this channel. So keep an eye out for that. We'll talk about basically why he selected what he did and basically show what those springs do at that point in time. Throughout this build, uh, one of our favorite parts of this particular build, uh, he opted for our CJC exclusive race line Avengers in black. These are an ideal wheel for clearing 37 inch tires on these builds. Uh, they come in a plus 20 offset, makes 37 inch tire clearance very easy at the three inch height. It's actually kind of our secret ingredient when we put these builds together to make these work. Um, these 17 inch wheels are, um, you know, all, a great bang for the buck in terms of what they are. Very functional, uh, very lightweight. Um, in our experience, they balance really easily. And um, I think they're one of the best looking wheels on the market. Tire wise, uh, this is a very specific tire to this uh, build, specifically a very functional tire, should I say. These Toyo MT 37 by 13 half by 17 tires are rated for 4,300 pounds a pop. So that is basically as high as you'll see these tires get for these trucks. And so when somebody is building a purpose-built camper setup like this, this is actually the, the ideal tire. Uh, we understand it doesn't fit with everybody's build or, you know, in terms of, um, you know, their wheel options and things like that. But if you can fit this tire, uh, this is a very functional tire for a build. And it's also very durable. So these Toyo MTs have a very thick sidewall, very thick compound. So you take the, taking the truck off-road, you know, say to super remote areas, um, say you hit like a rock with a tire, you're less likely to puncture these tires and end your trip early, like, you, you know, basically what a lot of other tires are susceptible to. So very functional tire, very cool looking tire. And uh, as you can see, it really kind of rounds out the looks of this build. Uh, so this may seem like this truck's already received a lot of upgrades, but this is just phase one. So we actually have more videos in this build feature coming. Uh, John has a lot of big plans for this truck. Uh, if you'd like to follow, either follow on our channel as well as his social media. Uh, it goes by Roaming Lost on both Instagram and YouTube. Uh, so there are a lot more uh, basically features and, and basically uh, tech videos coming up on this particular build. Uh, if you have questions regarding a similar build for yourself, feel free, feel free to reach out. We're happy to help steer you in the right direction to basically help get the ideal setup for your build. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks.